Well, I actually think it's going to rain, so I don't know if uh, I might have dropped a bit of a bollock here, to be fair. I think I might end up getting caught out on the bike today. Oh, ho, ho, ho. She sounds gorgeous. Well, to see what she's like around these twisties, uh, like I say, I've racked up sort of 500 mile now, so don't need to go too easy. So, uh, tyres are nice and warm. Actually, amazed me on uh, how these tyres retain the heat. Um, still got to go a little bit easy, keep the rest sort of 5,000 RPM, but. Hello, sir. Let's <laughs> gonna see what she performs like around these twisties. Very chilly today, uh, and it does actually look like the heavens are gonna open up. But never mind. If we get wet, we get wet. We'll see. Yeah, no sunshine today, I'm afraid. Third gear, we'll just get past these people here. Didn't even need to knock it down a the gear then. Just opened up in third gear. She actually handled very well. Got a bumpy section of road here and no real issues with a suspension either. Down the gear. One thing you do have to watch is uh, these tractors and what have you pulling out on you along this uh, stretch of road here. Lots of farming going on. You see it gets up to 70 mile an hour. No issues. Down in the fourth. Handles really well. Surprising. Brakes are very good as well. below 5,000 RPM as well. So even in the running in stage, you can still have loads of fun on this bike. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest, I've never really been one for running a bike in, you know, uh, uh, low, low speeds, low RPM, to be honest anyway. I mean, you hear mixed feelings on that, but I've had lots of new bikes in the past, so good afternoon. Very fortunate and never had any issues with them. Probably come slightly up on that RPM a little bit. Uh, that was fourth gear around that, that bend there. So 40 mile an hour in fourth gear. So I the throttle and she just pulled, pulled me around that corner there. <laughs> Slow it down a bit. Wonderful. You can have loads of fun on the, on the, on this, and I, I really am looking forward to uh, to the summer next summer when these roads are nice and well, when it's a bit warmer. So uh, yeah. Probably going to need some fuel soon. Um, 
well, there's not, I don't think there's a filling station for quite a, quite a few miles around this area, but no, there's no one there. Um, I generally set this at 100 miles. No, sorry, I zero this when I fill the tank up. Generally get about 100 miles before that light comes on, so I'm going to test that out again today. I've not really been riding it too uh, religiously. <laughs> oh, I've been opening her up a little bit, you know, so. Where are you going? Come on. I don't think he knows. No indicators. Oh well. No idea where he's going there. It's one thing you have to watch when you're out and about on, especially on bikes, is uh, people not in, not um, you know, indicating and uh, pulling out, pulling out in front of your junctions. Lots of people have come a cropper in the past, especially around this area. But anyway, yeah, thanks for joining me today. Just a little ride out around the twisties just to see how the bike performs. Not really had an opportunity to, uh, to test that out. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Much appreciated to have you along to the channel. Plenty more bike uh, ride outs coming on this machine, on other machines. Um, and I am potentially looking for another bike to replace the, the Triumph Street 7765 RS. Uh, if you're an existing subscriber, you'll know that I've recently sold that on. And I am actually missing that bike. Um, but we have got the winter coming up, so... Maybe, like, uh, one of those subscribers suggested a winter hack. Just to uh, get out and about on a bike here and there when, you know, when uh, the, weather, the weather's okay. Because this, this bike, as soon as uh, the weather turns and uh, the roads are solid, this won't be leaving the garage. Uh, yeah, I hope to get the mileage up, get it serviced before this weather comes in and uh, I'll be ready then for, for, for the future. Nice little crest in the road here. See if we can get the front wheel up. No. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So take care. See you soon.